Radio, hello, and welcome back to another video. This time we are looking at the Evil Dead game. I hope you're all doing well, and thank you for joining me. So, down to business, what are we looking at? Well, the developer of this game, Saber Interactive, have released an update that puts a 40-player BR mode into into this called Splatter, Splatter Royale, creatively. <laughs> um, so this is a solos-only BR, and it's based in the Evil Dead universe, spanning multiple movies and TV series. So if you're if you're unfamiliar with the Evil Dead franchise, I'll just literally the quickest summary going. Uh, it's created by Sam Raimi and starring Bruce Campbell. You might know Sam Raimi uh, most recently as the director of the Doctor Strange movie, but also famously the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Uh, they all have a, a cameo with Bruce Campbell in. And uh, fun fact, if they'd uh, made the fourth one, the fourth Spider-Man movie, he may have been some form of Mysterio that did end up actually happening later in in the newer Spider-Man movies. So um, yeah, and like the Evil Dead, so the actual Evil Dead, the, the series, the movies, the original ones, uh, it's basically based on demons or what they're called deadites in this franchise are going to be released by the Book of the Dead, I believe, in a cabin in Tennessee. Um, yeah, uh, and by the third movie, <laughs> Bruce Campbell is uh, traveling back in time, fighting the Army of Darkness. It's all pretty wild. I definitely recommend giving them a giving them a watch. They're uh, they're pretty interesting. So um, gameplay wise, let's just do like a classic pros and cons. So I'm going to list off some pros, going to list off some cons, and um, these will all be based around Splatter Royale, the game mode, and. I'll do a little quick roundup because there are other game modes available as well in this game. But um, before I do that, if I could ask if you could hit the like or dislike button, it'd help make the channel more visible and, you know, spread it around. So that'd be really awesome. Thank you. And um, so without further ado, the pros. Um, it caters to solo players. Uh, this is rare in the BR world. I mean... You know, mainly it's uh, squads. Most BRs do have a solos mode, but it's sort of, I always feel like it's an afterthought. And being a mainly a solos player, I, I did actually really appreciate this. Um, the games last about 15 minutes that I've put as a pro because, you know, sometimes spending half hour, you know, you can just bop into games and have quite a few as well. So interestingly, a ver variety of characters, um, the version that I downloaded uh, there was a wide variety of characters to choose from and different variants from all the movies and TV series uh, in the splatter royale mode that we're playing they actually create a deadite version of the main characters like if you if you're playing as a human and um, if you're already a deadite the the main change visually is that you get a glowing chest that is used to signify if you're human or an AI. So you'll see the people that I fight, and even myself, you'll catch glimpses of my chest glowing, and that is used as a way to identify a real person. So uh, another another pro, uh, this is fantastic. There's three maps to pick from. One, well, it's randomly picked for you, but there are three maps. One based on the Evil Dead 1 and 2, I believe, the second one is Evil Dead 3, or Army of Darkness. And the third map is Ash vs. the Evil Dead. That's the TV series that came out a couple of years ago. Um, staying on maps as well, that they're, they're actually chocked full of points of interest uh, based on the movies and TV series, depending on which map you're on. Uh, and there, is, there is even the original cabin from Evil Dead 1. Uh, we do actually visit it in this video as well. It's got the trapdoor. The famous trapdoor as well uh weapons wise so this is where it gets really interesting so weapons wise there's um there's a fun range from syringes to maces for the melee and then shotguns to grenade launchers for the ranged aspect interesting balance like you have to juggle these because engagements are varied you know you've got to balance your melee weapons and your range weapons uh, you know, your ranged weapons require ammo that can sometimes be a little bit difficult to get hold of. And uh, they're also just to 
further it, and this is because are um, split into rarities from common, rare, epic, and legendary, and they're signified by the color white, blue, gr purple, and gold for legendary. Uh, it's fully crossplay. That's a that's a big bonus. That's, I think especially with a game like this, you know, fully crossplay, you can play with your friends. Uh, interestingly, as well, I actually really like this, and I think Fortnite has something similar-ish, or they introduced it a little bit. You've got these on-the-go upgrades. Uh, so in this mode, and in this game, you can upgrade your your health, stamina, damage output, um, from range to melee. There's there's a few things you can you can upgrade, and they're done by these pink F bottles or F pink bottles that are mainly found in crates, and you get one if you defeat a person as well, and they make a huge difference. Late game, they definitely do. Uh, what was the other game? Uh, you know that Super People game? There's like a PUBG ripoff that's just mental. They do a thing where you you upgrade your character in real time, as well. So if you like that, you'll like this system. It's actually a lot simpler in this system. There's one currency. Um, so moving on to the cons or some of the stuff that I didn't really gel with in my short playtime. Maybe they make more sense the more experienced you get. But 40 players on the map can be pretty quiet. These maps are pretty big and people like I found as well with these games they didn't fill to 40. You could fill I think the game will kick off between 20 and 40 players. So I was getting, I was averaging about 28 players, I think, per map. So not a great deal. Um, it'd get really quiet. Some of the games I played, I literally, I'd get into the top five without seeing anyone. And then you'd find, you'd find a Chad and get absolutely, get absolutely annihilated. So yeah, the pacing can be a bit rough on this, but most Battle Royales struggle with a solo game mode, I think, in my opinion, as well. So, um, another thing is, and I don't know whether it was the process of bolting it on this game, right? the servers are pretty ropey. Um, I think they do like a dedicated host, like someone in the game is actually the host, because um, queue times are really long at points, like between three and seven minutes, I think. I, 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 I looked, uh, I sort of noticed, it was always three plus minutes anyway. Um, but also we'd get this weird message where it said like player has cancelled the game and I think that's a dedicated host that's fair enough you know it's a smaller smaller game having dedicated services is a big ask and a big expense as well but it was, yeah it was just a bit weird uh, it was very much like 2000 and uh, maybe about 2007 <laughs> it felt like the, the matchmaking system uh a weird other thing that I looked at, and maybe again the size scale of this game, patch notes. So in the most recent update where they introduced this this BR, the patch notes actually mention something about uh, the developers remind people not to mess with game files. Uh, for example, removing foliage. That's a little bit weird because when you load the game up, there's meant to be easy anti cheat. Maybe they've got the pre. <laughs> maybe they've got the free trial on the game for easy anti cheat. So, bit strange. Oh, I don't know. Uh, they said you'd get banned for doing it, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, health items as well, they can be really scarce. So picking a fight actually feels pretty detrimental in this game because you start taking damage naturally, unless you can really perfectly like get the drop on someone. But TTK is longer, is on the longer side. So you will get like the other the person will get a chance to turn around and damage you so players don't drop don't seem to drop health items or they don't have health items on themselves um and i found as well in a couple of games i literally just died by the end of it because i had a sliver of health and i just could not get a, a health item to save my to save my biscuits so with that as well item spawns can I think are in a fixed location are actually static and this might be a pro for some people you know you can memorize this but personally I prefer some randomness to my to my game I even think crate rarity because the crates can be common rare 
legendary, etc. Um, I think they're also static. They don't change. So if you know where like a, a rare crate is, I think it's going to be there every time. So rounded it up, sort of just on the other game modes, you've got the asymmetrical mode. That this is what the game actually launched with. Was this? I think it's four versus one. It might be five versus one, and it's that dead by daylight kind of setup. I think uh, Friday the Thirteenth had it as well. Um, you know, four, four or five of you are trying to escape the, the killer, basically. So they've got that in there. Um, there's another game mode that's actually really cool and actually really helpful for the BR mode. And there's like a free roam ex exploration mode. And this is uh, this is the BR maps. I think all the maps, uh, all the game modes share the same maps. But you can go around. AI do spawn. You can fight some AI. It's not overwhelming, but there is some there. So it keeps things interesting, but you can learn where all the loot pools are so that maybe that negates that that con uh, earlier as well. But it was actually quite fun. It was quite just fun exploring these maps. They're full of character. Uh, the, the design's fantastic as well. So also with the asymmetrical modes and some of those modes, there are AI versions so you can play against AI uh, instead of people. Maybe that, that might be a preference for some as well and sometimes you just want to chill like, it doesn't need to be a sweat fest 24 7 so yeah i mean in conclusion i mean moving to maybe just the end here um i enjoyed the evening that i spent with the evil dead it was good uh just some clarity i got this free in november i haven't actually downloaded it until now until this update um, i had no intention of downloading it until i read about this update Maybe you're in a similar position as well. Um, so I have made a penny for it, just to just to let you know. Currently, check it on Epic. It was it was thirty to forty pounds. I think it's a bit steep for this game. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, stuff that I've mentioned before, like the matchmaking, um, just the the vibe of this game is not a triple. Well, this isn't a triple A price now, is it? It, it was back in the day. Showing my age a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit steep for this game. For the amount, the amount of hours you're going to get out of it. Also, I think what made me dislike this price some more is that this game has full price cosmetics and a number of them as well. So it feels very much like they're trying to get their cake and eat it. But uh, I don't know, it just it didn't sit right with me. So I thought maybe my honest opinion was maybe this Splatter Royale you have it as a free to play element supported by the cosmetics and then the paid version might have that free roam exploration the asymmetrical modes something like that maybe split it up slightly um it might bring a bigger player base especially where it's cross play as well i think people would have it in their library and play it like in the afternoon or evening maybe on a sunday afternoon a bit rainy outside so yeah that's sort of where i stand with that but i do genuinely feel like there's something about this br that's really cool i can't put my finger on it I, I just i did enjoy it but it's really rough and i think either through updates it's gonna get a bit more polish or you know building on the fundamental premise of this of this br like i really enjoyed that melee range combat combo i think that's what i enjoyed um, but I think what's more likely is like maybe someone's gonna come come in, make a brand new game with with this BR kind of as as the base. Maybe it's not an Evil Dead themed one, but you know, this melee ranged combo. Not too much inventory management, you know, you're just getting down to brass tacks really, I guess. I don't know, I if it's in your library, give it a go. Uh, I wouldn't go out and pay for this. If it was maybe a fiver, maybe I'm being cheap, but I think maybe five pounds, <laughs> five, ten at an absolute push. But give me a bit of cosmetics as well. Uh, yeah, so I think that's that. Hopefully it's been enjoyable. Um, and just something a bit different as well. You know me, trying something different every time. But yeah, if you could hit the like button, the dislike button, or even the subscribe if you're feeling generous. Uh, we do a variety of stuff live uh live videos live streams 
bods and uh, what else do we do? Oh, some shorts as well. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. And yeah, time. Take it easy. And uh, cheerio.